and roar. Welcome to the new caveman show. Many of you have heard of the famous paper-like screen protector that emulates writing on paper on your iPad Pros. But is the paper-like screen protector the best paper-like screen protector for your iPad Pros? Today, I'm going to install the new Ellicom Paper Fuel screen protector, Bond Paper Type. So, there are many many sponsored posts on the paper-like screen protector out there. Many will assume the paper-like screen protector is the default choice or the best choice for emulating writing on paper on iPads. However, when I did my research, I find that it was not the case. Many people on Reddit claims that installing this screen protector was totally not worth it. So three years ago, my research found me this Ellicom paper fill screen protector and I was very happy with it. Now three years later, having upgraded to the 2021 M1 iPad Pro with the liquid SDR display, I would say I want a screen protector that emulates writing on paper with the least compromise on the screen quality. So in the past, there was only one model of the Helicom Paper Fuel screen protector. Now there are two models, the first being the Bond Paper type. It gives you the roughness of writing and drawing on an art paper. The second type would be the smooth paper type. It provides 50% reduction in the wear and tear of the Apple Pencil nibs. So, according to Amazon, the bond paper type reproduces the friction and writing sound close to that of an art paper. On the other hand, the smooth type is designed for you to sink the pen tip into the surface. This achieves smooth and stable writing. Overall, I wouldn't say the application of the Ericom Paper Fill Screen Protector was easy. I mean, all applications should be the same. It's just that this is a very daunting process for me, especially that my work environment isn't exactly sterile and dust free. But having said that, if I can do this in one take with zero dust particles, you can do it too. So, as you all know, the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro comes with the mini LED liquid retina SDR display. And the number one question everyone is asking is that should you slap on a matte screen protector on this beautiful new display? I will now play a few. HDR content and let you judge for yourself. So 
Overall, I would be lying if I say that there is zero compromise on the screen quality. However, as you can see for yourself, the display remains beautiful. So, I would still be willing to slap on a matte screen protector on this new display. Most other matte screen protectors out there really cast a lot of haziness and blurriness on top of the screen protector. But this is not the case for the Helicon Paper Fuel screen protector. As a prop user for 3 years, the new bond paper type doesn't disappoint me at all, not even on the new Liquid Retina SDR display. So overall, even with the slight reduction in screen quality, I would say that the trade-off is good enough for me. I still get to use the writing and drawing of a very good rough paper surface and at the same time I accept that small little reduction in screen quality and now let's talk more on the texture the texture of the bond paper type is very rough it's like an art paper it's so rough that it leaves a trail of my skin cells as I swipe my finger across the surface. Now, let us do some drawing on Procreate on this newly installed bond paper type. First up, let's do some precision inking on this picture of high Q. Overall, I feel that drawing on this bond paper type feels very similar to pencil on art paper and I'm enjoying it very much. Next up, let's do some colouring. Listen to the sound of the colouring. Don't you feel that it's exactly the same as colouring on the art paper? Now I would say that this will definitely wear out your pencil nibs. But then again, isn't that the point? We want to emulate art paper. I mean, which artists would complain about their paper wearing out their pencil nibs? Now, a real artist would worry about which material will bring out the best in their art. So now, if pencil nibs are your concern, you should get the smooth paper type. That way, you can still have the feeling of writing on paper but at the same time, you know, they don't wear out your nips as often. But I must give you a warning that your touch experience after installation of the bond paper type is going to suffer. I mean, from a smooth touch experience you are now touching something akin to that of a cardboard box it's going to be rough but then again trust me you will get used to it so overall i'm very happy and satisfied with the product after all I've been using the Helicom Paper Field for the past 3 years on my 2018 iPad Pro. Now this year with the Liquid Retina SDR display, I'm happy to announce that 
The Helicom Paper Field gives you the best screen quality among all the matte screen protectors that I've ever tried. And I truly, truly accept the cons of the roughness of the bond paper type. From the increased wearing out of Apple Pencil nibs to the loss of smoothness to the touch when my fingers swipe on the touchscreen display, I would say that this is a very happy trade-off for me. So thank you for watching my video. My channel is around 3 years old now and I've never made an effort to grow it. Today, I'm going to do a giveaway. One lucky winner is going to get a free Helicom paper fuel screen protector on me. The contest details are as below. Simply help me like and follow my social media accounts and you will stand a chance to win this paper fuel screen protector. The contest ends in a week's time. Your chances are very high as I have hardly any followers. So all the best. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye-bye.